Hey guys, it's Jess, and I've got a very special friend to introduce you to. Say hi, Gracie. Oh, <laughs> this is Gracie. She is a three-month-old Scottish Terrier, and we are babysitting her for Max's parents. Hey, Gracie. Gracie, girl. I made her this bed out of our old mattress pad. And she loves it. Oh, keep sniffing. She's a little baby, so she's very bitey. I never grew up around animals. My family, my immediate family, no one had dogs or cats. And I actually used to be really afraid of dogs. Like whenever a dog would bark, I'd be like, ah! and I'd be like really startled. And I was always afraid of um, being bit by a dog, especially because this kid in my class had a giant scar on his leg from being bit by a dog. When she first came, I was really scared to like pick her up and like touch her. But the longer she's been here, the more I've been okay with hanging out with her. You can see in her little mouth, her little teeth growing in. So I don't blame her when she's bitey because I understand what it's like. Oh, you're so cute, you're so cute. Like I had my wisdom teeth come in not too long ago and that was quite an experience. I would be this bitey too if I had something to bite on. She's already gotten so big since the first time we met her. They got her when she was, I think, eight weeks, eight or 10 weeks old. And I feel like she's gotten like 20% bigger. When she's really bitey, we just shove like a toy in her face so she'll bite it and play tug of war with that. She loves playing tug of war with a little lion toy as well as um, this rope toy and a mouse. I made her this little mouse toy for Christmas out of a sock because she likes my socks. It kind of looks like a cat toy, but she likes to chew on the rope, but she's got the lion right now so she's not really feeling the mouse. <laughs> oh, there we go. She got the mouse. And play tug of war with the mouse? Oh, she loves a mouse. I thought it would be a good like toy for her because I researched that Scottish Terriers like naturally go after like rodents. And like, I figured because the size of this toy is like my, cause she always goes after my feet. And I thought it was probably because my feet are really small and it's like the size of her prey. So that's why I decided to make her the mouse toy. But she loves the, um, the rope. Look at that, look at that. She loves the rope toy. And I love it when she puts her little paw out. It's like we're, oh, you're so cute, you're so cute. Baby, baby, baby. Now you can see her little teeth growing in. I like to bonk her with this mouse too. Oh, you're so, oh, there we go, she caught it. You got the mouse. Sometimes I get something like this or her bully stick and I'll hold it and then she likes to chew on it when I'm holding it because she can, she doesn't have thumbs obviously because she's a dog. So um, yeah, there we go. See, like it's like she's asking me to like hold it a certain way the way she, puts her little paw up. I think it's really sweet. Yeah. This is like a cheese stick and I thought it was weird like that they had this for her because it smells really good. Like it makes me want to eat it. I think it's like a Parmesan rind or something. I honestly found something like this in the back of the fridge and I ground it up and I'm gonna add it to my breakfast strata video recipe. Cause like that's how hard cheeses are. They're just like really, really hard. So I put it in the blender and it made like a powdered cheese like that fake Craft cheese, so I don't know. I didn't know dogs like cheese. I don't even know if they're supposed to eat cheese or if this is just like a teething toy for her. Let me know if you have a dog in the comments. What is your dog's name and what breed is it? I don't know very much about dogs and I'd love to learn. So thanks for hanging out and meeting our new best friend, Gracie Dog, the Scottish Terrier. Say bye, Gracie. Say bye, Gracie. Bye bye, Gracie. Bye bye.